Hi, I'm Virginie Galtier. Welcome to this course. You're probably here because you're curious about Android programming. Or maybe you have a great idea for an app and you just need a leg up to get started quickly. In this video, I'll explain how is this Project Center course organized. Right after this introduction, you will be presented with three exemplar apps. You can try them on your phone or just broad uh, their description. That will give you a sense of the kind of app you will be able to build at the end of the course. And in fact, these apps are made of different basic functionalities. For example, one functionality is to play a sound. Another one is to save information on the phone. Another is to change screen when the user clicks a button. Uh, well, we will consider these basic functionalities as building blocks or bricks. And this week we will look at six other bricks to display an image, to adapt to the language settings of the phone, uh, to send text messages, to display a web page, to let the user input information, and to organize graphical components of the user interface. For now, we will only see the outside of the bricks from the user's perspective. Your first job will be to imagine how your app can be built using a combination of the basic blocks. Uh, what experience will you propose to the users of your uh, application? That's where you start working on your own project, your um, own application. All the learner will use the same block as you do, but they will customize them differently or they will assemble them in a different fashion and each of you is going to design his own application. Maybe you will imagine a game uh, while others will work on a grassly list application. Uh, of course, the number of applications you can design with a reduced set of blocks is uh, limited, but don't worry. The blocks are customizable and we've chosen them carefully to cover a large range of uh, applications. And since the beginning of the course, learners have come up with very diverse and, and interesting applications. Do you imagine what could happen if you build a house without referring to blueprints? Or are you sure the owner of the house will be happy with your construction if you haven't shared your plan with him? Well, the same applies to app development. Before you start the dirty work, you first need to draw blueprints. And your first assignment will be to share the plans for your future app with your peers. So that will allow you to gather feedback on your project. And it will also be an opportunity to discover various ways of presenting the storyboard of an application. And once you're satisfied with your layout, you'll need to prepare your uh, tools. And during the second week of the course, my colleague, Michel Yanotto, will have you install Android Studio. That will be your uh, development uh, environment. Then it will walk you through the development of a first very simple interactive application and I'll show you how to use an emulator to test it. Then you will be ready to learn how the blog presented during this week, this first week, translate into code. And during week three and four, I'll walk you step by step in the development of each of them. And at the end of week four, you will be able to go back to your project and to translate your design from week one into an actual app, your first Android application. Enjoy the course!